Hi, welcome to Smart Home Sunday. My name's Paul and I'm tinkering once again in Home Assistant. Now, a couple of weeks back, you might have seen me looking at trying to save some electricity because it's rather expensive at the moment. And why not? With a couple of heaters, using a couple of Shelly smart plugs and home automation and a hue motion sensor that actually has a temperature sensor in it. It's maybe not the most accurate, but it'll do. I am using Home Assistant to control the temperature of our lounge room depending on time of day. And of course, the actual temperature. Now, last week I looked at some of your comments and I've made a couple of those changes. Two key things were, why don't I set the automation to run when the temperature sensor reports its temperature? I've done that. And the second one was a suggestion on using input numbers. And yes, I have done that. So let's have a look. Here are the input numbers. So we've got two times set up. So two ranges to, uh, what would you say, target temperature. The kind of away temperature if we're sleeping or we're away from the house and then at home. So morning, evening. And you can see here I've got a range between 11 and 12 degrees during the night, for example, or the middle of the day, and then between 16 and 17 during the morning and the evening. That seems rather cool, but for some reason our house feels quite comfortable like that. And that temperature sensor, as I said, it's maybe not the most accurate, so it's probably about a degree or a degree and a half out. So probably more like 18.5 degrees is the target temp that we're looking for when we're home in the morning or in the evening. But there are the input numbers on a dashboard. Now let's go and have a look at the automation. And into automations, earlier I had eight different automations set up. Now I have one and I've just called it heating lounge. Now, when you are setting up an automation, I would encourage you to force yourself to learn YAML at least a little bit, because I actually find it a lot easier to read now. I'm certainly no expert, but when I start looking at this, I don't really understand it all. And then when you actually go into the actions, you'll notice here, here is one that says, confirm the dining room temperature is above input number home temp max. When you click on this, there are actually no values here. So this particular feature does not show up when you're using the automation's user interface. Whereas if I go into edit in YAML mode, now what you see is what I've set up. So let's have a look. This automation will trigger every time the temperature sensor, now it's just no backdoor sensor, it's actually in the lounge room. I just got lazy, I moved the sensor, but didn't update the name anyway. So every time the sensor reports a temperature change, then this automation will trigger. And it just happens to have the ID as lounge temp check, right? So actions run, I don't have any conditions set here. I just run the action straight away, but I have a bunch of conditions to check the different scenarios. So the first thing I wanna check is that did the trigger lounge temp check fire? Well, yes, it will every single time here. But this gives some flexibility so I could build this out for multiple other sensors. And then I could still use one automation to control multiple rooms in multiple different temperature sensors. <sighs> Future proof. Now, if the lounge temp check triggers, see what time it is. If it's after six, before nine, then I'm going to check the temperature sensor and see if it's above the input number home temp max. You get it? If those conditions are met, then turn off the Shelly plug heater near the staircase and turn off the Shelly plug heater near the window. So I've got two heaters in one room, two smart plugs. And then it's just a case of changing cut and paste, cut and paste, and just change the values. So if it's between six and nine, and however the temperature sensor is below the input number, so that's my home temp minimum, then we're gonna turn on both of those heaters. And then I do the same thing for between nine and 14.30, uh, the on, the off, uh, or other around the off, the on, and then 14.30 to 10 o'clock, 
and then a 10 o'clock through to midnight. This works. It is working. It's working very well. If I go back to my dashboard, I can see at the moment the heaters are actually turned off and the temperature is 14.9 degrees. And if I would adjust these sensors, in a few minutes, the sensor will report back a new temperature and everything will turn on accordingly. So it's not the most efficient thing to show you right now because I can make the change and I can promise you it has worked. But let's check it out next week and I'll see if I can take into account a few other comments. One was, what if the heater does not turn on if the Nord Pool electricity price is sky high? I think that's fairly easy to do now when I look at the automation I've got set up here. Now, there were also some other suggestions that I could use one of these thermostats uh, integrations. And I don't know. What do you think? You tell me down below in the comments. With this automation, it looks fairly simple, wouldn't you say? One automation. I've got some future-proof flexibility there. In the same automation, I can add multiple rooms, multiple sensors. Which way would you go? Let me know. And... Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time with another Smart Home Sunday. I think you know what day the next one will be. <laughs> see you then. Bye.